So this fly <coughs> is the damasis. It's basically an amalgamation of a, a little damsel and a very well-known pattern I did some time ago, um, which was called the Nemesis. So this is an olive version of it. Um, let's pull this thought out a little bit. And it's just a, a simple fly that works extremely well um, from sort of end of May through June, July, August and September. It's a nice one to fish on the dropper or even fish it on its own in a small still water. So we'll start with a, a still water hook in the vise here. This is a size 10, so get it nice and straight. And I use an olive thread for the body, but I use a, a chartreuse thread for the head with a, a trigger. It just helps, looks nice. And a little standout trigger point. So he's got to wind on some thread wraps, getting a bed of thread. Let's tighten my, my bobbin a little. And working down the hook shank to a point opposite the barb. Pull that thread off, a couple more wraps here. And then I've got some olive marabou here, nice and soft. And the right colour, it's a sort of medium marabou, not dark, not light, just medium. And the same ones you use for most of your damsel patterns. I'll just take a sort of thumb and four fingers width and rip that off the, the stock. Roll it in my fingers. And I'll catch that end so that it's the body's all the same length, so I'll catch it in up at the thorax area, winding down to the, the end of the hook shank. Then with your scissors and snip that tag end away. So with your thumb and forefinger, just pinch and pull the fibres. Then use a pair of scissors and keep those strands because we're going to use that for the body dubbing. Like I say, a simple fly this. So next to a rib, which is a, a pearl miler, size 12. Catch that in on my side of the hook shank. Sorry, opposite side of the hook shank. And again, winding turns down to the tail. I then take my, my marabou and I top and tail it. So I take half away and put the butts to the tips, tips to the butts. So it's all the same thickness. And then we can wind this on as a rope. It doesn't want to be too thick, just nice and thin so it adheres to the thread. Spin it nice and tight. And then just wind up and touch and turns to, to the thorax area where you think the thorax should be. Too much in there, so I'll just snip some of that off, pull some of it back, to tidy these fibres away. And then I want to use the, the pearl miler. Let's give this a quick half head to keep everything in place. A little tug of marabou there that I didn't need. Try and cover it up with, with the ribbon. So open turns through the marabou. I'll try and get three and then stop at the thorax. So you've got a little bit of marabou and a little bit of the, the pearl miler. That little bit of the bottom's annoying me. Let's turn that away. So that's that bit, that's the, the tail and body created. Again, a little loop to hold everything in place before I put my new material in. And now I'm going to come in with my pheasant tail. This is dyed olive. You might not look at there, but I promise it is. 
And then just take a little strip, a little bunch of fibers, eight to 10. Rip that off the stem and then cut it in with the tips. You know what, it's all getting trimmed off at the end. But just make sure it's flat across the back. You can make your scissors, scissors even, and trim the waist end away. I then take my synthetic dubbing. This is Hen Spectra, and for this I want the dark one, two three nine. Then I'm going to take a few pinches of that and dub that up the thorax. So in, and you'll see that I start at the top and work my way down that so I can pull the thread through it and keep it all secure. See what I mean? So starting at the eye, make sure it's nice and tight. Work my way down and then work my thread through the thorax area. Just makes it that little bit more secure. Not too tight, you just knock your thread. Pull the fibers away from the eye, come in, work everything off. And then just pull your fibers up again, make sure they're straight across the back. Show you this. So the line's straight, not to one side or another. Let's look that back in place. Single lock and thread wrap, and then a couple more turns just to be sure. Tight turns. Then we your scissors at an angle, and then snip that carefully with the thread. And we can tidy this area up since we sort of control thread wraps. Very simple. And then just quick finish. Snip the thread. And then I'm gonna come in with my my big green chartreuse thread. And this is gonna be my trigger point. I just build the head up here so it's a very noticeable hot spot. Trim the tag end of it. And again, build it up. And then just put it finished to tidy. Snip the thread. And then we get dubbing, pull a few of the fibers out of the thorax area. Just got that straggly and buggy look. Get a little bit of varnish on there um, and let it get soaked in because you've only got a few wraps with the, the chartreuse. You just want to make sure you get varnish in there to bed it in properly. And that's him, the Damasis. Not a difficult fly to tie at all. Um, a few basic steps and you get yourself a killer pattern. One that works really, really well um, everywhere.